Hello and welcome to Uralis here at our Enterprise Hub in Bristol. My name is Anton Burford. I am the Capability Director here at Uralis, which means I have responsibility for the flight test organisation, for the design organisation, and for making sure that our product is safe and airworthy as it moves to our customer. Phoenix, our common core fuselage demonstrator, manufactured directly from our 3D data. Our 3D design, 3D information, 3D data is not new. What's new for us is how we manage and utilize that information. To manufacture this, it was direct to our supplier who produced it. So its outer mold line is accurate to our design. Helix is part of our digital enterprise readiness activity. Digital work is novel and it's cutting edge. So we must manage the risk to make sure that we get through to type certification in our program timelines. So for me, I need to be assured there are engineers, uh, both in the synthetic space and the physical space, are doing the right things at the right time. That information is not only critical for us for our design, that information is critical for the through life aspects of the aircraft. In order to be sure that what the operator receives, what the maintainer receives, is the right and true information, our airside product, our smart integrated digital enterprise, pulls all that information together. So at any point, at any access, you know the information you have is right and proper. Helix itself allowed me to mitigate uh, a risk of how do we make that engineering information join together in the right place. So Helix followed a, an engineering requirement all the way through its life cycle. So it can pull evidence and information to show that we've met that requirement, either from uh, analysis, from uh, synthetic results, from synthetic testing, or from physical testing. That information comes together in one place. That information is available to me as the independent part of my organization, but also to a regulator. And as we move towards certification, that access to key information that's simple and accurate is, is ensuring that we get to our type certification point at the right time and regulators have the right information at the right time. Modularity relies on that digital concept uh, being able to manage not only what we're designing now, but what we're designing for in the future. So all our variants, whether they're crude or uncrewed, are incorporated in our, in our design concept. If I take you through the concept here, we have a twin cockpit set up, but we've already designed and integrated how we're going to do that for a single occupancy or for uncrewed. And if you're on single occupancy, we also have the option of a fuel tank to be put in the rear uh, part of the cockpit. So quite a novel arrangement, and again, only possible to do through our digital activity. So here we have our wing stub, the heart and soul of the aircraft. It provides not only the structural rigidity we need, but also the ability to perform the modularity, which is clearly uh, the objective of our common core fuselage. We're able to assemble the wing solution that's required for the capability for the customer. So whether you want an advanced jet trainer wing or you want a, uh, a straight wing for more fuel efficiency at a higher altitude, that's where this connects to. It also provides some stowage for our landing gear. Uh, on our previous design, our landing gear stowed in a sponson under the wing, with the wing being at the uh, mid to high level. Reducing the height of the wing meant we had to find another stowage solution. So this wing box provides that solution. And down here, you'll see our uh, uh, demonstration, physical demonstration of the landing gear that which we will use. And in true engineering activity, as we've tried to do across the entirety of the aircraft, we're using tried and tested engineering techniques. There is no point in designing something that will take us 10 years to test. So we need to have mature engineering solutions that are integrated in a novel way. This undercarriage 
has been on the market for over 20 years and has a proven record of uh, safety and structural strength and ease of maintenance that we need for the aircraft. And we have taken that commercial um, off the shelf item and we have modified it slightly to meet our challenging uh, safety targets for the aircraft, which means we've got improved safety performance, improved braking performance, um, and a change in terms of hydraulics. But the key part of using a, an off-the-shelf landing gear is that we are dramatically cu cutting the time that we need in order to demonstrate that it is uh, safe to integrate on the platform itself. Moving up to our wing. So uh, changing the wing also changes the solution that we need for the air intakes for the engines. So the propulsion unit mounted at the back of the aircraft. We've got air intakes that were under the wing on our previous design and are now flowing over the top of the wing. Now this provides us a great opportunity to allow better space allocation for the, uh, for the air intake itself, which allows us then to change our engine solution from a single or twin um, and change the proportions of our air intake so that we're able to get the right airflow that we need for the engines to produce the thrust. Now here, we have the preparatory arrangement for our propulsion solution. Why is this different for Aralis? Well, for Aralis, we need to make sure that both the aircraft and the systems on the aircraft are modular. Traditionally, an aircraft will be built around its propulsion solution. That is not good enough. That is not modular. What Aralis is offering is the ability to change your propulsion solution now, for us it's important because it means that the variants we produce are able to use different power sources, whether you want greater efficiency, whether you want greater speed. So we're able to offer a twin or single engine solution. But looking across the world, we're able to offer our customer the ability to locally change their engine type. Now that is pretty much unheard of. In fact, I'll go as far as to say that is not heard of. That a local modification to an aircraft is available worldwide. So that is fantastic. Now that gives us some engineering challenges, clearly. From a hardware perspective, it means that that propulsion unit is mounted in a nacelle. The nacelle contains both its, its volume space and its interconnectivity with the aircraft, including the over-the-wing air intakes, which provide the engine with the necessary airflow. From a software perspective, what we're also able to offer is a very simple interface that means you're not changing your digital control of the engine itself. Now as a package, the engine and the digital authority come together. Those are very rarely changed, if ever changed, through the aircraft life and through the engine's life. The software interface allows us to not have a concern about that and control that interface. So as new technologies come on board, we are rapidly able to integrate those to our solution. So as we move forward and we look at a, hopefully a greener electric engine uh, system, we can integrate that into our nacelle and into the, into the aircraft through very minimal testing. Again, that provides us with great flexibility for the future and allows the aircraft through life to offer the most sustainable and cost-effective opportunity and solution to our customer market. Welcome to the Aralis cockpit and the environment in which I sit is spacious and uncluttered. We have a considerable advantage with the aircraft being modular and our system design allowing us to incorporate a lot of the aspects which you would only get much later in design maturity um, through cutting metal and having physical rigs. So for example, our anthropometric range uh, are incorporated into the baseline design of the aircraft. So we know already uh, that the pilot can reach the essential equipment. We know where the design eye height of the pilot is because we can replicate that. So it's a great uh, advantage of working in a digital environment. It won't solve everything, but it certainly mitigates a huge amount before we get to the, to the expense of creating uh, physical cockpits. And if I look in front of me, to so our screen layout, we have a, a, a large area display which sits in the front, 
the multifunction display, and some side screens. Now, all, again, very digital, but not only does it look good, it also provides great functionality. So for a pilot training pipeline, you can, at one point, be in a basic flying trainer. You can, at another point, be an advanced jet trainer in the same aircraft, just looking at a different screen setup. And not only that, but when we look at frontline uh, preparedness for our pilots, it means that we can reflect how a Typhoon or an F-35 cockpit may look. So already you're advancing the pilot skills before they get to the front line and uh, the front line solution. All this is delivered through us and Aralis performing its true modularity strategy, whether that's in cockpits, whether that's in aircraft, whether that's in the digital space. It is modular throughout.